Okay, so that was a lot to take in in the last video. It was kind of a longer video too. So we're going to create another web page just to sort of reinforce everything we just learned. So let's create an, an about page. We just want a very simple about us page. So head over to templates, create a new file. And here it popped right up. And for now, I'm just going to type in h1 about me dot 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 h1. And we need to save this. So let's go file save as make sure we're in our templates directory. And let's call this about.html. And see, there it is. And you can notice it pops right up here in our templates directory. So that's very cool. So now we want to create a view for that, right? So head over to our views.py file. And same as before, we just define and let's call it about. We want to pass in the request. Colon. And this is just a Python function, right? So then we need to return. Uh, we want to render request. We want this to be about.html. And we want to pass in our context uh, dictionary, which we'll get into a little bit later. Basically, this allows us to pass stuff into this web page and then use it on the HTML page in Python. Very cool. We'll talk about it more later on. All right, so let's save this. Now, finally, we need a URL. So in our quotes URL file, Again, remember our stocks URL file, we're pretty much done with that. So we just kind of ignore it. All the heavy lifting from now on is going to be in our quotes URLs.py file. So we want to put a comma here because this is a, um, you know, a, a Python list here. List items are separated by commas. So again, path. And where do we want this to go? Let's send it to about.html. And then we want it to point to views dot about, which is this, the about function in our views file, right? And let's give this a name equals about. And I always just like to put a comma at the end, even though there's nothing else, there's no other path we have, because later on, you're going to probably add more paths and I'll forget to add that comma later on. So I just do it now. All right, so control S to save this, make sure control S, this has been saved, or of course, come up to file and save. Okay, so let's head back over to our web browser here. And let's go to about.html. And boom, we have our about me page. Very cool. Just that simple. So you will notice this time it was much easier as we kind of understand how these things piece together, how this links to that links to that, you know, it becomes much, much easier. It's just that first time it's kind of overwhelming, but there's really nothing much to this stuff. We're just every time we want to create a new page, we'll go through this process. We'll create the actual page itself and we can put anything we want inside of here, right? And we will later on. I'm just putting very basic stuff in here now. So like I said, we just create a quick template for the thing, uh, give it a URL, point the URL to your views page inside the views file, I guess, uh, create a function for each page. They all kind of look like this. They'll get more complicated as we do more complicated and cool stuff. Uh, but for now, that's pretty much all there is to it. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward, not too tricky. Uh, not as tricky as I probably made it out to be in the last video, but these things get easier as we move on. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll look at a base file. I'll tell you what that is and why that's super important. And that'll be in the next video.